Tell us about some of these other uh, common medical myths that patients are subjected to that you address in the book. Um, well, I mentioned cholesterol, cholesterol mm -hmm. not causing heart disease, iodine being a tops, toxic substance. Um, and, and that really our, is a myth. We really do believe that, <laughs> don't we? Because you say oh, yeah. iodine, and I think, oh, that's something you have to keep away from your kids, right? <laughs> or... yeah. Well, I, I would tell you the long story, but it'd just take too long. But it, it has been... Um, it has been disparaged uh, for many, many years, mm -hmm. and no one knew why. Mm -hmm. And I researched it. I found out why it was uh, disparaged and why it's talked badly about. People don't understand that iodine is absolutely necessary, probably the main uh, element that we need in our diet. We eat way too little iodine. We consume way too little iodine. For instance, the people in Japan, they take in an average of 45 grams, uh, milligrams, I'm sorry, milligrams a day of iodine. And the recommended allowance for us is 0.2 milligrams, 225 times less. It prevents breast cancer, it prevents uterine cancer, and ovarian cancer. Now, why isn't everyone taking it? I want to know the same thing. I want to know <laughs> why, too. It's because they don't know. And they've been taught the wrong things. And that's what my book's about. They need to, they need to know this stuff on their own.